The 5th of November 2000 was just like any other ordinary day at Disney World. Thousands of people young and old gathered to experience the thrills and wonder of the theme park. Among the visitors was William Pollock, a 37 year old man who, unbeknownst to him and those around him, would become the centre of a devastating incident. After boarding the ride known as Splash Mountain, a series of bad decisions led him to get off the ride midway through, leading to deadly consequences. So what happened to William? Let's talk about it. This is Death at Disney World, the infamous death of William Pollock. Due to this case being so old, there is little to no available information on William Pollock and who he was. We do know he was a 37 year old man from St. Petersburg, a city located in Florida. St. Petersburg is a vibrant coastal town known for its beautiful waterfront, cultural attractions and thriving art scene. That day, on the 5th of November 2000, William alongside his friend visited Disney World in Orlando for a day out at the park. Walt Disney World Resort, located in Orlando, Florida, first opened its gate to the public on October the 1st, 1971. Today, it stands as one of the most iconic and most beloved theme parks in the world. Compromising of four major theme parks, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, and Disney's Animal Kingdom, each park offers a unique and immersive experience with different rides. In the Magic Kingdom section of the park lived Splash Mountain, one of Disney's most famous ever rides. Splash Mountain at Disney World, much like the Disneyland version, is a ride inspired by Disney's 1946 film Song of the South. Guests board log-shaped boats and navigate a series of scenes brimming with animatronic characters and picturesque sets. Riders are typically seated in a single row, with one or two individuals in each row, depending on the size of the rider. The duration of the ride can vary slightly depending on factors such as boat loading times, and any temporary stops due to ride maintenance or safety concerns. Generally, the ride lasts around 8 to 12 minutes. That day, William and his friend boarded the ride at the start of the afternoon. William sat down and the ride set off. As the log-shaped boat glided along the course, William suddenly felt unwell. He leaned over to his friend in the adjacent boat and mentioned his discomfort and pretty much told them that he couldn't carry on riding. Unfortunately for William, the ride was in full motion, so he was unable to stop. However, moments later, the ride slowed down to a halt, leaving William with an opportunity to leave the boat and make his escape. He originally climbed out and stood on the side of the canal, next to the animatronic animals. He then attempted to make his way across the water, possibly towards an exit, as the other passengers looked on in bewilderment. He said to other guests, I'm going to try and cross here. Now at this point the ride was still at a stop, so he decided to climb across one of the boats and make it to the other side. However, just as he stepped onto the boat, the ride started up again. This caused him to slip into the water. Another boat from behind then hit him and crushed him between the wall. One witness said, We come around this little corner, and he's sitting down on a wall on the side, then gets up. He kept putting his hand over his chest. He'd get up and pace around and sit down. At this point, William had used the boat as a bridge and had fallen in. The witness went on to say, he just keeps wedging him in further. It packed him in there so tight, I don't think he could breathe. The boat just took off. The ride started again, and when that happened, he slipped and went to the left side of our boat and got wedged between our boat and the wall. Panic and horror engulfed the passengers on nearby logs. They screamed and cried for help, but their pleas were drowned out by the mechanical whirring of the ride and the terrifying collisions of the logs behind them. One witness named Debbie Johnson, who was in the log that crushed William said, we screamed and yelled for help. We were stuck and each time the boat hit us from behind, it was crushing him. When Disneyland officials were made aware of the accident, they shut down the ride and quickly evacuated everyone on board and the people who were lining up. William was then transported to Celebration Hospital's emergency room and at 3.08 p.m. he was officially declared dead. The ride was shut down and an investigation was launched. Disney quickly released a statement straight away saying that William's death had nothing to do with the ride itself. Disney World spokesman Rena Callahan said she could not comment on witness statements to the police but said that when ride operators learned that there was something wrong, the ride was stopped immediately. She said that she did not know at what point the ride was shut down. Police quickly learned that prior to the fatal accident, 
Some alert passengers had noticed Williams' unusual behaviour inside the ride and had informed Disney World employees. They considered his actions odd and upon exiting the ride, warned the staff of his presence. There were mixed claims, some saying an announcement was made when William left the log, but others said no such announcements were ever made. A close friend of William Pollock, Thomas Riley, who was at the park with him that day, was in a separate log. He remained bewildered about what compelled his friend to leave the boat. He insisted that it was a tragic accident and that no one should be held accountable for the unfortunate turn of events. He stated, we were with him and we still don't know what happened. It was an accident and I don't believe anyone was to blame. Others claim that William may have had a panic attack which led him to leave the boat. Disney maintained that they had fully cooperated with the Orange County Sheriff's Office during the investigation and it didn't take long for the police to come to the conclusion that William's death was an accident and it was put down as accidental death. It's hard to say with 100% conviction what caused William to get up and leave the boat. Whether he was sick or it was a panic attack, he didn't deserve what happened to him and I hope his family have found some form of solace and may he rest in peace. Splash Mountain did reopen but eventually closed down earlier this year. Let me know what you think about this case in the comments below. This is not an AI channel, I do all of this myself, the research, writing, editing, thumbnails etc and I upload every Thursday. So if you enjoy my work make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.